We're doing it. All right. So hopefully this works because I did not have enough time to test that it works, but I'm sure it'll work. But I have implemented a patch that makes it so uh, instead of generic themes, it's actually the characters' themes in story mode, which, is, which seems really nice. But at the same time, why is that not the default? Like, why is that not the default? I didn't even think about that, but I got a couple comments that were like, Yeah, these three characters' themes don't play in story mode for some reason. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't think it's a bug. I, I don't think it's a bug. Because if it was a, like... It's too present to be a bug. Oh. Chad, I never noticed the background changes. When you move your options. It's very noticeable between story and verses. Huh. Neat. I was thinking of the fighters too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The fighting games didn't have... Like, they had the themes, but they didn't have them relative to, like, the characters, you know? Like, they had their own story themes. Anyway, chat, we're gonna pick up right where we left off last time. With the big, weird cat. Ma! It's so nice up here. I can't believe we're having this festival. It's the best. Ooh, uh, Oren, why are you here? I'm here for all the treasures they got. They could have told me about this great Phantasmagoria release festival. It's my favorite thing. Oh, okay, the patch works because I just realized I had not heard this, this song in the game. Well, either that or I just haven't fought Nazareth at a point where it would play your theme. Do you hear that choir in the back? That's so strange. Also, Oren, what is the shot you're doing? What is this weenie ass shot? I, I don't remember hearing this at all. Alright, that's fine. Nazarene's store. Nazarene's got a. Nazarene's theme. Wait, this isn't Nazarene's theme. This is Spring Lane. Hold on. This is false rat hood. That's what this is. This isn't a tiny, tiny clever commander. This is this is Spring Lane. I recognize that. Anywhere. Because that's the sound of a poor asshole booting up UFO and starting the game. Chat, is it just me or is Orin's firepower just the worst thing I've ever seen? Oh my sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> there is no muscle behind these shots. Oh my god. She's effectively getting one single shot stream of bullets on things. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead, do your worst. Come on. Alright. We're both under underworld dwellers. You don't need to give me the cold shoulder like that. I don't like cats. You should know that. What are you talking about? I don't eat rodents. Well, not living rodents. Nazarin's rods make spear attacks last longer. Cool. Doesn't look like a rod to me, but okay. Is Orin the joke character of the game? The human village is also flooded with phantoms. There might even be some vengeful spirits mixed among the phantoms. Ah, eh, probably not. Orden? Don't get too close to the village, okay? Not while bringing them any phantoms, anyway. It's fine. This place is full of phantoms, anyway. I'll blend in just fine. I don't think blending in or not is the problem. I'll head home right after I fill up my cart with phantoms. Or maybe corpses. Don't you think you're overfishing? Does a theme. What is this, man? Pop him. Okay. So, chat, uh, last night, 
Uh, I should have went to bed, but I had to wait a little bit, and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. So I ended up booting up Lost Branch. Um, I booted up Lost Branch, and I took a crack at a Lunatic run. And I won. And I used Marissa Potion. And it did not really come super close to losing. But I did have to fight Remy with a potion based deck, which was really difficult. Because I could only play five cards. And I did not have enough cards to stop her from hurting me and also generate potions like a fucking mad lad. Alright, well, we're going on the big level. Let me back my shield. So, I got a, po I got a lunatic win with Marissa. With a cool potion deck that mostly utilized, uh, honestly, the biggest player on that deck was uh, Refined Potion as a card. But see, Marissa only needs a couple things for like potion generation. Craft Potion's a really good one. Uh, Unstable Product is a really good one as well. I think that card is always worth the negative that it gives you with the shadow cards. But yeah, I just built my deck around like refined potion and I got decent decent enough potion sustain. Although admittedly, I feel like the deck could have been better and it was definitely cluttered with junk, but I had enough uh I have enough knowledge of the game to make it kind of work. Cuz for like pretty much the entirety of act 1, I only had two cards that actually generated potions. But, I was able to get their damage up to very high numbers, because I took it a dream. And I had- I could apply vulnerable, and then my potions were doing like 60, which is a lot of damage to a stack one boss. I even fought Aya, and beat her, ba because of that. And Aya on Lunatic is bullshit. <laughs> She's so bullshit, because she has two grazes every turn. So unless you have a way to beat that, you just lose. And thankfully, I had enough potions to actually do that with. Well, it's about time to go home. My cat's now full of phantoms. Remy's five cards on Lunatic. You might as well do me a favor and catch all the phantoms. Oh. It's 765 for Remy, I believe. But I'm pretty sure it used to be five no matter what. Oh my, what a big harvest. I'm definitely going back to that all-you-can-grab Phantom Fest. Huh? Who's that over there? Eh? Who are you? Ah, oh, it's you, Orin. Thought there was someone here I didn't know. Didn't expect to see a nine-tailed fox. I often see you play with my dear little Chen. I am grateful for that. Hey, no problem! Thanks to you, my once cute little Chen is now finding corpses for fun. Yeah, the training was worth it. So, need anything from me? You know any incident happening on the surface? Incident? So, it seems like, chat, the third, like, everyone's third fight is, like, set at the same time as each other, I guess. So, Orin fights Ron, and Vi Ron fights Orin, vice versa, and, you know. And then with Reimu, Reimu fights Marissa. Like, it's the same encounter on the third act every time. But you play from a different side. It rocks, the set of death was everywhere. Never thought I'd been so fancy if I'd a cyphus. Who's the organizer? Could it be the one from your place? Sorry, never mind me, not what someone who will get what I'm talking about. This is not Necro Fantasy. I don't want Charming Domination, I want Necro Fantasy! Aw, oh, man. I'm kind of upset, actually. <laughs> I'm actually kind of upset! How dare you? How dare you take one of my favorite extra stage themes? Sorry, extra boss themes, because this is the extra stage theme. I didn't want this. I didn't ask for this. It's alright. We like the pain. Pain! Why do I feel like I started with more bombs as other characters? Oh, whatever. But yeah, uh, Potion Marissa is really strong, chat. That's the long and short of it. 
she's really strong and it only takes a couple cards that generate potions and a couple cards that generate uh, scry and like deck th uh, thinning that you can really make her work. Like, I pretty much always end up grabbing astrology study as a card, uh, ability card for Marissa because with, with, uh, with potion Marissa, she always starts with an occult. So she'll always have enough to pay for astrology study if it's upgraded. And upgraded, that card always starts in your hand. So you can get that running right away. And it pays for itself because of the, the, uh, the grimoire that Marissa has. Assuming you keep the grimoire, of course. But that's always a really strong opening hand. Potions be silly. But there's a lot of potion support cards that make them fun. Like, very fun. Now I gotta figure out how to do it with Cheerno, I guess. But I'm sure Cheerno won't be that bad. Cheerno will probably be bad if you run a cold deck and fight Sny, though. But I was capping out on damage against Seija. Also, Lunatic Seija, what an asshole. I got kind of lucky, though. Because she skips the first... Uh... Lunatic Seija skips the first... Like relic summon and does it on turn zero. She called the teapot in, and then the second time she called in the uh, she called in the goblet. And I don't really mind the goblet because I feel like whether or not I win that fight ha has absolutely no nothing to do with my side relics, you know. Ow! I don't really mind losing them that much. Okay. You came here to investigate the phantoms. Investigating on the surface alone was fruitless. I'll tell you something nice. Seems like new phantoms are coming up from the depths much below. New phantoms are coming out, you say. Thank you for the fine information. Fading vengeful spirits filled with little vengeance, like shells left by departed spirits. They aren't to my liking. Oh well, time to kick up the mood and start working. Cat. What's nice about potions is potions are their own sustain. Get enough of them in the deck, and they start giving you enough mana to pay for more potions. Oh, I gotta fight this weirdo again. I didn't expect that to come out to the form of hell of blood pools. I'm not gonna be able to slip right past her, am I? Hello, where are you, Chiari the Tenkajin? That's three eyes? Tenkajin? Ugh, what's that? Yo, Oren, long time no see. How you been? Hey, we're buddies! What are you up to today? Not much, just here to warn you that the randos might be coming by. Investigating the incident happening on the surface. A fox from the surface was bugging me not too long ago. It's only a matter of time before the shrine maidens here. What? There's an incident on the surface? You don't know? That new beast, Tortetsu's gotta be the culprit, right? There's gotta be another fierce battle. You might get caught up in it. Maybe you should hide for a bit. Hehehe, <laughs> now you're joking. How's anyone supposed to hide in a place that looks like the apocalypse? Not to mention that Totetsu and I have become friends! What? Are you surprised? You're looking at a proud member of the Goyuku Alliance. What? What? Huh? I see. If so, our fight seems inevitable. Huh? I thought you'd fight me no matter what. Ah, uh, haha, of course. After all, no battles, no corpses. You get me. They're friends. <laughs> So she's a she's not a recently like made yokai, but she's a recent recruit. A recent friend of Totetsu, interesting. I thought she was kinda long term, but I guess not. And she's a friend of Orin's. Well, actually I, I can't tell when it comes to these characters, who's friends and who's not. Where is one supposed to hide in a place that looks like the apocalypse? It's a good line. Anyway, I have to like pseudo pay attention here because uh, this character is a massive cheater. Just not moving. Nope. Not even gonna worry about it. Ow. Get my shield back, please. Okay.
Nope. My favorite potion support card is probably Cooling Agent. Just for the, the, the cold thing that it applies. But I'm also a huge fan of radioactive uh, chemicals. Because getting charged with that is... It... I think it's interesting that, like, it's hard to make a potion deck work for charge, but that ability card makes it super easy to get charge working for a potion deck. Because your odds are you're generating so much potions that you'll be able to chip into uh, charge pretty fast. I had a I had a Rumrai smart speaker at Open Universe. And I copied radioactive elements, so every potion gave two charge. It was very silly. Because it also gives you two potions to start with in your hand. Oh my. Very expensive, Douglas. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, excuse me? You know what? I know what happened. I am, I'm well aware of what happened, but I'm angry about it all the same because it should not have happened, and if it was any other character, it would not have happened. Screw you, you cheating asshole. Come on. Come on. All right. Hmm. All right. That was fun! That box I mentioned should be here soon to investigate. Speaking of which, where's Totetsu now? She should be in the animal realm. She said conquering surface requires a lot of preparation and blah, blah, blah. I've already gotten this far. I may as well go say hi to Totetsu. Chupacabra fame. Yuma had a buddy. Yuma's, Yuma had a buddy in Flandre shortly. <laughs> wow, when did the animal realm become this fabulous? Can't complain if these people call form a hell the booties. Hey, Totetsu, you hear? Who's calling me so frankly? As I thought, Orin from the Palace of the Earth Spirits. It's rare to see you here. What do you want? They took your teeth, Totetsu! Where'd your teeth go? You know the incident on the Cyphus. You're behind it, right? Incident, you say? If so, what are you gonna do? Phantoms are every were everywhere! It was awesome! Just to tell you that, I really appreciate it. Huh, what the hell are you saying? Some kind of joke? However, I'll not claim that deed. It's not me, and I don't do things like spreading phantoms on surface. Since you've been making new friends, I thought you would make up to something. So you met Tenkajin. Actually, you've probably known her longer than I. Yeah? We're buddies. Well then, it's time for a test. What? I, th I have, I've never become more aware that Zun does not draw teeth than when Yuma showed up and was defanged. She just has no teeth. Orin had a buddy this whole time. Orin's best friend is Oku. But turns out she has another friend. Who would have thought? Ow. Well, I'm almost positive that a bullet came from behind. But it's fine. Big spoon. Whoa. Undo, undo, undo! Okay. Yeah, they didn't come from behind. I wasn't crazy. Uh, 2 HP is really pushing this, but I think as long as I don't... I don't goober it, I'll be fine. I'm gonna get my shield back on charge. Okay. Uh, I feel like people who don't like Orin are the ones who had their, uh, their, you know... Their family's corpse is stolen. There's a reason she's underground. 
Yokai Underground are hated by the surface dwellers because they're they're fucking creepy. They're weirdos. Give me back my shield. Someone who steals corpses is probably, you know, she's a bit on the weird side. What if you tell her, what, chat, what if it's like Swiper, like from Dora, where she throws a corpse in her wheelbarrow, and you, you go, you go, or in no, uh, <laughs> or in no stealing. I couldn't think of a word that started with O. But then, like, you say it, like, three times, and her face just, like, malforms into that fucking creature. And she goes, Drat! And then she wheelbarrows away. <laughs> so I don't think that creature even talks. There we go. <laughs> she just, like, contorts, malforms into that face, and flies away. Chat, she's doing the thriller. Look at that. Look at her pose above Totetsu's head. Little thriller action. <laughs> That's enough. You're just an ordinary Kasha. Obviously, but what were you testing anyway? That Tenkajin, she came to me all of a sudden, said she wanted to join me. Really? Chiyari? Hard to say whether it's out of character or not. There was no reason to turn her down, so I just let her be. However... The blood she's been accumulating was mixed in with some suspicious test tubes. Suspicious test tubes? I have some here. Want to take a look? Okay. Come on, closer. So this is her item. Okay. Bottom of the food chain. You must have ability to terrify opposing eagle spirits. Look at that toothy grin! She gonna be eaten. Where am I? I know this feeling of this pugnant smell. I'm an owl! I see the kitten is finally awake. I've been watching you from the very beginning. That Totetsu is a wicked one. That she would pretend to open her heart only to lure you into a trap. Despicable. T trap! Ah, yeah, that transport tube earlier. Tra trap earlier. Something, I'm not sure. Oh no, I remember that fearless face of yours. You're that one human who took over hell all by herself. Zalmu Nipaku. You did what? Jeez, that's a pretty big deal. Indeed. It was also you who abolished the old hell and founded former hell in the process. What? I'm honored to meet you. Uh, huh? Okay. Alright, thanks for the fucking huge lord dump, Orin. Yep. A human who went to hell. Conquered hell and founded former hell. Holy shit. She is a big deal <laughs> mm Hmm. Did you come to waste my time reminiscing? I'm not here by choice Wait, am I here by choice? No You already know of me. So you already know what is to come if you stand before me. There will be no escape Just as everything else you two will dance in the palm of my hand and the curtain will fall All right Alright, well that is one bad bitch. No one can fix her. <laughs> Back up, Jack. Oh, whoops. Oh, get this out of here. Huh. Chat, I've only seen the, the the Grape Lady once so far. She showed up once in Rainbow's scenario. I'm gonna reveal you, chat. I don't really understand what it is about that character that cranked uh, so many people's horny knob to 11. But like... All the art I've seen of her so far has been on the, uh... 
suggestive side. I just don't understand what about her made that happen. Who are we good? Wait, what? Huh? I'm sorry, did the boss just get hit? <laughs> okay. Ow. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Every other time they've gotten hit, they death bombed it. She just gave up. That's probably a failsafe in place. So, like, if you know, if the boss dies, the counts as a win for you. Well, actually, the boss automatically dies when you finish the scenario, so, you know. Wow, that's shitty luck. See, those are, like, flying to the side. Holy shit, Orin. Ow. I just wanted to see what it would do. <laughs> he just... Just throws the fucking card at him. Alright. Toss him. Frank West that shit. I uh, whoops. Alright. Ruddy. Ecstatic and frantic. Gotcha. Okay, chat. Let me get you a new image. Spooky. Oh, where is it? Uh... There it is. Okay. There you go. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> Her shirt says, I love old hell. <laughs> She's very far away. She won't be able to get you. Okay. Well, according to the ending, according to the ending, Za uh, Zamu Nipaku, she uh, she was the reason former hell like was made. She reformed it, but I guess people didn't like that. So the people who stayed behind in former hell are the ones who are against her changes, if I read that right. I don't think I read that right. She founded hell. Well, former hell. Oh, fuck. 
Whatever. I can't tell if the denizens of current hell or former hell are the ones that are against her. Anyway, it's now time for this character. The tube girl. The Kiketsu family, the Kega family, and the Goyuko alliance. Whew, what a busy tube fox I am. Hey, Sny! Oh. Miss Sukasa, what brings you here today? Won't you lend me your shrine just for a bit? Uh, what for? I want to make a base for the beast yokai in the mountain. You let me do that, won't you, Sny? Don't be foolish. Why would I ever? Oh, Sny's theme. This is also not Sny's theme. This is her stage theme. Good stage. Good stage theme. Don't get me wrong. But I like faces for the trans theme people a lot. Chat, I just noticed Sukasa has her hand up doing the thing the entire time. Well, except when she moves. Uh, we get it. You're a fox. Put your hand down. She's throwing tubies. Bro, why is there a shot going behind her? That's so useless. Put it in front of her. Come on. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I gotta appreciate the creativity, but it's also very strange. It's about how, like, helpful this actually is. I'm getting... what the hell? The background's tripping me up. That's fine. Goodbye, Sty. Okay. Hmm. Regardless, we don't have a moment to lose. At this rate, we will overrun by those weird beast yokai. I was just about to go and investigate myself, but still, I can't just land at our shrine. Have a good day. Snakes. Orin's boss theme is not as impactful as a boss theme anyway. And also, Lullaby of a Deserted Hell is definitely not suited for a game like this. <laughs> the Kega family can't be relied on. They got nothing between the ears. And the Goyuku Alliance will turn on each other. That just leaves. As expected, it's going to be the Kiketsu family. Their ideology suits me just fine too. Hmm? You're a tube fox. Well now, aren't you that fox who can't hide her tails? What's someone like you doing at the Moria Shrine? Snide told me she was busy. I'm house-sitting in her absence. House-sitting didn't seem like that, the way Snide spoke about it. Well, I shouldn't put much faith in the words of a tube fox. But you want to want tussle? I'll kick you in the shins. My, how upsetting, even though dear Snide asked me to. Send away any suspicious trespassers, she said. Goodbye, Ron. Alright. I'm going to hold shoot. And that's about the best I can offer. Hit him a little uh, yeepy. You know what I'm glad about, chat? Is that you don't have to press the button. I've come to the decision that tapping the A button and POFV is perfectly fine and not a hassle. But holy shit do I like just holding the A button. Because I am one lazy motherfucker. There's now a dedicated button to charging. That is just... That is just so beautiful. I wonder what the hitboxes on those look like. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Sny's snake is very weak. So the fact that her card gives you exactly one of them... Is pretty great. I think I can do a lot with that one snake. 
The pitch is lower. Eh. Charming Domination just doesn't really do much for me. I don't think it's bad, I just don't think it's that memorable, comparatively. I much prefer the boss theme. But I guess the boss theme is just way too extreme. Too much of a step up from everything else because he's an extra stage boss. I don't know. <clears throat> there she goes. Shikasa's wearing socks in her over there, and she's not wearing socks on the left side of the screen. There's uh, no consistency. And I'm afraid we're docking points for that. Ugh. There's nothing fun about two boxes bamboozling each other in a place like this. Are you investigating the incident? You've been wasting your time here, then. Oh? You're looking for people who are up to no good. You should delve into the underworld. There's nowhere to hide up on the surface. Looks like she bought it. That's good. The Goyuku Alliance is the biggest concern. Let that stuck-up Ninetales deal with them. Got her card. Those are her battle socks. There used to be a sanctuary of spirits around here, but a yokai ate them all and was awakened. That sounds like the Kiketsu family's work. If I want to get in a good with the Kiketsu family, I just have to win that guy over. Who are you? Mink. A fox? I work for your boss, running errands. Ah, so you're the one Lady Yashie spoke of. A tube fox, are you? Yeah, I just thought I should stop by and introduce myself. I heard a mountain monkey was driven out of their pack and awoke by eating the sanctuary spirits. Shush! I told the family I was born from a stone and that was struck... And that, that I was born from a stone that was struck by a thunderbolt. From now on, spread this story, alright? Okay, okay. And besides, I have no reason to confide in you. Those who only run their mouths can't be trusted. That's what I believe. Mm-hmm, so you want to see if I'm all talk. I like her smug expression. Her Okay, so her lore is she was kicked out of her pack, ate a bunch of spirits, and became, you know, became a yokai. But she told everybody that she got struck by... She was a stone that got struck by lightning. And became alive. Yeah, okay. That's believable. Sarkasa being in the game is very surprising. For one, obviously, uh, animal. And two, 18 is still... 18's events are still relevant. The events of this game are kind of a part in part caused by uh, the events of Tall 18. Tsukasa being a main perpetrator behind uh, those events for sure. However, I can't quite figure out Tsukasa's motivation for acting. Why does she do the things she does? She seems very like sly. But well, it's hard to call her weak. Hard to really say for sure if she's weak. She's only a mid-boss, so she doesn't have a lot of, like, attacks. She does have an extra stage mid-boss, though, but... I don't know. She's a kind of, a uh, The yokai she's based on... Like, they help, uh... They, like, help the people, like, attain riches and shit like that, but then... Ultimately, it always leads to their uh, their master's like downfall But do they really reap a benefit from that or are they just being an asshole? Do they do, does she just think it's really funny when she's uh, when she tells somebody that she'll make them big buck and then you know They make big buck and then later on they're like where'd all my buck go? Does she go teehee and fly away like what does she get out of this? What's her motivation? These yokai are stupid sometimes. Living creatures have to have some kind of goal, right? They gotta have a goal. What, like, is it sustenance for her? 
Does she feed off of their negative energy? I don't know. But some yokai are just like, yeah, it's an asshole because it is. That's the yokai. Nothing about how they survive or how they live, just the fact that they're an asshole to other people. Maybe it generates fear. I don't think so. I don't think fear is what you'd be feeling if you're, you know, the little fox lady was like, I'll help you out. And then helped you out. And then fucked everything up. You wouldn't feel fear, you'd feel betrayal, anger, sadness. Sadness. Not a certified D-pad gamer. Just a little monkey magic. Ow. Woo! Shield back. Monkey's theme is very good. Oh! So have we reached an understanding? It's not that. Pay attention. Hmm? I had to put a stop to our battle. Someone hunting for you is approaching us. Alright, I'll figure something out. Okay, bye. Far-reaching pole. Ability to throw lots of sticks. That's great. I'm going to use that. I'm going to throw it. Hmm. Is it safe over that way? Ugh, I'm just so tired. I think I'll have a little break. Hey, you. What were you doing speaking so intimately with the new blood of the Kiketsu family? Could it be? You're going back on your promises to the Kega family? Not at all! You got the wrong idea! That monkey was just picking a fight with me. I was only looking into the movements of the Kiketsu family and the Goyuku Alliance like you requested. Heh heh heh. Well, it's fine even if you're betraying us. Are you saying it's fine if I betray you? Punishing traitors is also enjoyable. Ha ha ha. Isn't that right, Tube Fox? Did you really believe your connection to the Kiketsu family would go unnoticed? Uh oh. Oh, I'm throwing sticks! Hell yeah. Bongo drum time. She plays all sides, so she always comes out on top. Dude, I'm decked out on so much weird stuff. That's only battle four, actually. No, I think so far of all the characters' themes, or all the new themes in the game, Beat the uh, Biten's theme is my favorite. Son Biten. I do like Zimmy Jimmy's theme as well, though. But yeah, she's not my favorite new character. I kind of want to see more of the Hell Lady because I like their design, but I don't know anything about her. Meanwhile, I've seen uh, Zimbabwe like almost every story. And Inoko and B10 have shown up quite often at this point. I do not care about Chiari. At all. I only really remember her name because it's like one character off of Chiari. Hmm. On fought uh, Yashie as the final boss. So did Nazrin. I believe Saturn fought uh, Saki as the final boss. And Yuma was Ron's final boss. But uh, Zipperman was the boss for Reimu, Marissa, Snai, and uh, Orin. I think that's everyone covered. Okay. I just don't like her design. That's all. I don't really like her design. I don't really like her outfit. But I like the other characters' designs and outfits. Stinky, stinky hells. I think I need to put my shield back. Ouch! Woo! 
You know, I'm thinking how Lunatic in this game will probably go, and... Seems like the game would probably be kind of wacky with Lunatic patterns on top of all the other nonsense. But I don't really know what exactly has changed in Lunatic. Something like this would be denser, I imagine. And another one. Oh, well, you know. Ah. Uh. I tried my best. Okay, I now understand how she moves. Unfortunately, Every character in this game feels weak as shit. Oh. Saki, I can still see you. I- I- I can still see you there. She's exposing her feet. Hey, hey, it's just a misunderstanding. Finding out what the Kiketsu family are up to is what the, was the job you gave me. So I have to get in with a, I have to get an in with the Kiketsu family. That's to be expected, right? Ah, of course, of course. Yes, yes, you're so level-headed. <clears throat> in that case, you can continue your investigations. This time, the target is a little unusual, but I'm sure you can handle it. Wow. I can't believe Tsukasa just shot down Saki. Wow. So, it's not the Kiketsu family or the Go Goyuku Alliance. It's some other group I'm looking for. And Saki could easily bump me off. Lying to her was a bad idea after all. She must be sending me to hell to silence me. Did she figure me out? It's like they're suspecting double agents now. What am I gonna do? Oh, there you are, Grape Lady. Oh my, welcome to hell. No matter who, no matter when, all are welcome to hell. She seems nice. Who are you? I am Hisami Yomutsu. A guide to hell. Kaguya. Now, where would you like to go today? Uh, <clears throat> well. Right, I came to investigate the incident on the surface. Uh, that said, it has nothing to do with hell, right? Ho oh ho, this is a surprise. It's still so soon, and yet there are people who have already traced this incident back to hell. And allow me to guide you to the one you seek. But first... I'm keeping the spirit of hell, I'm going to make you a spirit of hell. If a character has long black hair, it's just Kaguya in disguise. It's like Goku, Goku Black, and uh, Goku GT. You got Kaguya, Star Sapphire, and Hisami Yomotsu. They're all Kaguya. Just different versions of Kaguya. She needs to have fun somehow. And taking on alter egos and multiple, uh, you know, more multiple personas, that seems like fun. God, I don't remember anything she does. Oh, Guya, never change. Ugh. It has occurred to me that I've been up too long with not enough sleep to back it, and that's my fault. But it's all right. I will improve. Chad, I went out to the gym yesterday. We didn't do a huge chest day, but we did do a chest day. And I got a new personal best on my bench press. I bench pressed 30 pounds on each side for a total of 105 pounds. 
That's pretty good. Progress. We take those. I haven't done a lag day in a while. I'm, I'm living up the meme right now. But surely, maybe tonight. Hopefully tonight. But yeah, things have been getting pretty uh, good for that, I think. Been putting up my weight and whatnot. Oh. I've been putting up my weight, doing heavier weights, doing more uh, more in general. Ow. And now it's... Uh, I'm getting really sore. I'm getting very sore after gym days, which is probably what I want because it means I'm actually working myself. All right, I'm not doing this right, but at this point I'm too stubborn to change my ways. There we go. There you are. I like benching. Benching's pretty fun. We did incline bench press and holy shit, my shoulder popped. I was like, ah! Cable poles with the, uh, on chest day are cool. I don't remember what that one's called though. Oh. I do not know how to escape the grapevine. Let me out! That's fine. Dude, you can't kill anything, Sukasa. Such splendid strength. Now then, I shall guide you into hell. No, maybe not into hell. Eh? Were you thinking of going home? Or rather, did you think you could go home? Huh? Those who have fallen into hell may never leave by their own power. It would be not much of a prison otherwise, would it? Fuh. Humiliating crimson glory. Humiliating? It's just some grapes. A smith machine? What's a smith machine? What one's that? There's a lot of things in there. <sighs> yeah, you gotta be careful. You don't want to fuck around with your shoulders if they start to hurt. But, like, so many things just make your shoulders pop. I think it's just a matter of my shoulders being inflexible, so I just need to get them, you know, better. Also, be sure to stretch. Be sure to stretch. Ha! This is where I give up. Without a doubt, this place is hell. Tube Fox, you stand before Zanmu Nipaku. I've been watching you from the very beginning. Huh? You have groveled before Kisho and Kurokoma both while only ever thinking about your own benefit. How do you know all this? Ha 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 ha, you are despicable. I would have you fulfill a request should you be able. It uh, depends, what is it? After doing those beasts bidding, you have no right to refuse mine. I guess you're not gonna give me a choice. My errand is... Wh what? Kill Reimu Hakurde? That's... That's a very blunt request. Will you undertake it, or would you rather wander in hell for all eternity? Muster all your strength and surpass my imagination. Yo, what the fuck is this lady's problem? The one with the barbell and the steel rails. Oh, you mean the assisted squat? Yeah, we have them, but I prefer to do, uh... Prefer to do the squat free weight. Because if you do a free weight, it, it helps your, uh... Well, the bar takes the pressure, a lot of the pressure off your shoulders. So you can focus primarily on the squatting. But not using the assist means that you're also getting a bit of an upper body workout. On top of the uh, the squatting, I've come to really enjoy deadlifts because of how much they hit. 
But holy shit, man. My deadlifts, yeah, uh, the soreness from uh, my deadlifts, they made it hard to sit, uh, sit up. I was just sore sitting. Why does this motherfucker ask me to kill Rainbow? What is her problem? There's no way she actually- oh, that hit me. There's no way she actually thinks I could accomplish this. Plot twist. She's buddies with the fortune teller. That's the only reason why. Cold cup of revenge. I mean, there's no way she's gonna succeed. But it's kind of crazy to think. This is the first time I think I've ever seen a character want to kill Reimu. Usually it's Reimu who wants to kill everybody else. But even then, Reimu doesn't kill them. Reimu just kills their, their plan. You know, it's a different kind of kill. Hmm. You see, I meant to uh, restart at the beginning, but I kept it going because I thought maybe I could do it. You never could have managed it regardless. Oh yeah? Bet. Alright. I can't show you the endings, so you can't see them, chat. You have to look them up yourself. I don't remember anything about that, though. But I also don't remember what I ate yesterday, so, well... You know. If there's one aspect of lore that I'm always very hazy on, it's the Toho endings. Because the Toho endings are weird, short, and I can't show them. So they kinda they're like my weakest aspect in terms of uh in terms of lore knowledge. I just don't really remember much in the way of like super interesting things in them off the top of my head anyway I do know uh, I do know that in UFO Marissa's ending directly leads into the extra stage so there's that but otherwise yeah I don't really know although I guess there's the extra endings you can get in 13 one of which puts Miko's uh, mausoleum Directly under Reimu's house. Like, I think it's in Reimu's ending. She just walks outside and Miko pops out of one of her fucking, like, stones. And she's like, hey, neighbor. <laughs> but that's one of those, that's one of those, like, alternate endings that isn't real. Because we know that the mausoleum is not there. But it'd be kind of funny if it was. Imagine waking up every day because Futo is up at your shrine doing radio calisthenics. But she's very loud. And she's also the kind of neighbor who comes over at like 6 p.m. and asks if they can borrow your fine china. And then Rainbow's like, what the fuck happened to yours? And Futo is like, Avast ye. I have it has been destroyed in a freak accident. But she does this every single day. But she never returns Rainbow's plates. But she always needs a new one every day. One day somebody sees this 
One day, Kersen sees this and decides that it has to stop. So she goes and visits Miko and talks to Miko. And Miko's like, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter how much I tell her, but she just continues to take the plates and she uses them in her Don Maku. So she beams them at Tojiko's head and then they shatter because they hit the wall because Tojiko's a ghost and does not have a physical form. So plates do not hit her. But she tries it every single goddamn day, and I'm just tired of it. And Kasen goes, well, okay. And then Kasen buys Reimu new plates and says, do not give these to the creature underground, please. Or she curses them or something, I don't know. She makes them extremely anti-feng shui, and Futo doesn't want them. Can I borrow some sugar? It's like it's like going over to your neighbors and asking to borrow something and then insulting the brand of food they buy for that something. It's like, well damn bitch, just give it back then. Didn't you wanna be like that? Black hearted white fox. Alright, chat. The Hagrida Shrine. Get <laughs> a ganker. Alright, yeah, Rima reiterated on the point uh, about, you know, what Zamu said. And it left, uh... It left Sukasa speechless. Alright, can I have my window back, please? Give me it back. Thank you. Whatever. I'll deal with it. Okay. She's gonna break her neck. I thought she's gonna break mine! Alright. Next chat is Mamizo. Yay. Thanks for the report, you Tanukis can rest now. Just as I thought, it appears there's some no good people running around here and there. I want to find that notorious Tartetsu as soon as possible. You leave my goat alone. Ah ha ha ha! Wow, who'd have thought Sanai was into that kind of stuff? Huh. What are you mumbling about all to yourself? Look at that bushy ass tail. I heard a voice whispering in my ear, so I'm trying to listen carefully. It's been so much fun! Whispering? Let me have a look. Hey, you're in big trouble inside your hair. What? The Danuki in front of me is an enemy? Okay, I'll take her out. There's a fox in your hair. It's a tube fox. Whoa, scatter shot. Okay. What is Sny into? Giant robots. I'm pretty sure she keeps that a secret. I don't know, I've seen Dojins and stuff where it's like... Her love of robots is like something she tries to hide from others. But Kanako and Suako already know because, well, they live with her. What do you mean, he doesn't know? The PS2 is still pretty new. Holy shit. That's a massive-ass charge that she has to do for that. 
Oh, it actually took my bar. Neat. Do you think she has gunpla? Surely she does. If she ever met Sumireko, she'd probably ask about it. Everyone digs giant robots. Up, up, up. Hello, on. Wow. Oh, well. A tube box. That's another troublesome thing. Once you possess, it's all over. They'll manipulate you until you're a goner. I only ever get this card from her. I mean, Hissel Tetsuko exists. Oh. Shukasha. The tube box here. I hear you've been receiving blessings at the Boria Shrine lately. My, my. Miss Chief Baki Danuki, how can I help you today? You were talking as if this was your home. Let me be frank with you, your tube foxes have been doing a lot of- been working a lot here, don't you think it's too much? And Sokyo isn't your private property, I warn you. Yeah, speaking from someone who commands your Baki Danuki's doing all the work non-stop. Hm, you low-class beast, don't talk down to me like that. Low-class is fine, you wicked beast. <laughs> it's true. Chat, I don't know about you, but delegation takes some serious effort and is very much grounds for an enormous pay increase over everybody else. Come on now. It's hard to tell people to do things. You think those hit me? They don't. Okay, neat. Oh, Mamizo's skill too gives her a bomb piece. It's kind of neat. I don't think any of the character did something like that. I don't remember Sukasa's theme playing. Well, I guess stage five theme playing. In uh, the story, yes, or when I played on Tuesday. I don't even remember what the generic boss themes sound like now. I want to see Sika again because Sika's another one who didn't have uh, her boss theme. Please explode so I can get this bomb piece. Do I keep that for the next game? We're gonna see. Okay. Hmm. The generic boss theme is Ramu's. Oh, okay. So Ramu's theme is just tossed around and used by everybody. That's kind of disrespectful, don't you think? Imagine playing Tall Ape, but everyone had Love Colored Master Spark as their theme. That's not cool. There's like, there's like copyright protection on that. I don't know why I did that. She's got a patent. I find it funny that, uh, 
I suppose it's true when they say people that are too similar don't get along, like us, Tanuki and Fox. Taniki! Taniki! Oh, that's a translation error. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a spelling mistake, that's all. Can we call a truce here? I'd be happy to do so, but you want information, don't you? I'm already tracking the movement of Kisho, of Kisho of the Kiketsu family and Kurokoma of the Keiga family. Ha! Their information leaks like a venting pipe, I already know that. But what about Totetsu of the Goyuko Alliance? She's the most notorious one. That's right! She's the best! I'll trade her information for a truce, if you find it acceptable, of course. Tube Fox. Kisho, Kiketsu, Keiga, Konokoma. Oh. <sighs> Sakaza was afraid of Totetsu and avoided her. She's a cute side to her, too. Let's see. Totetsu will soon appear at the children's limbo, they said. As expected of a tube fox, she has an impressive information network. Uh, who's there? Ah, the back of the Nuki chief. You're early. Speak of the devil. What do you want from me? You want an ownership of the land, don't you? But with one rival after another, gathering new allies in a hurry. Get to the point. Why don't you team up with me, someone who knows everything about the surface? Ha, sure, I don't really care. Huh? However, I don't need weak people. Understand? This is why- this is why Yo- uh, Yomu. This is why Yuma has a following chat, because this is who she is. People just are like, you're awesome, I'll follow you to the death. And she's like, yeah, whatever. And people just think she's rad. So she ended up forming an entire group behind her. <laughs> Fantastic. Great, greatest character I've ever seen. Would you like to join up? Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, why not? Yeah, come along. Eh, who cares? Yuma's hella squatting. If she stood up straight, she'd be like... I don't know, actually. I don't consider Yuma to be that big. Because 17.5 kind of set that in motion. But then again, Yuma's also like really hunched over in that as well. I don't keep my bomb. I did not keep my bomb. Blast him, blast him, blast him. a little shotgun action. Okay. I don't know why Suika doesn't look that short. It's strange to me. Suika has been very short in everything. Like, everything. And in her art in this game, like, kind of levels her with other characters. I, I can't believe it. I just gotta assume it's her utilizing her powers or something. Because otherwise, it just feels weird to me to think of her as that size. Because Suika being that, like, pint size has been such a... Like, you know, it's just been such an irrefutable fact of her character for so long. Then again, most of, whenever Suika tends to show up, she's drawn by not Zun. So... But Zun okay the designs, right? So surely Short Suika is correct. If it's unofficial, it means Zun had the final say on it, even if it is a fan doing it. I actually didn't want to do that. Oh well. I'll just choose not to get hit. Oh, oh, I chose poorly. Come on. All right. Is it Gorge Riser or Gorge Riser? That sounds like two words. That's enough, right? 
Yeah, you're now part of the Goyuku Alliance. I was sure you would refuse. My plan has been thrown off. You must be in a hurry because the other beasts are getting new allies. You got the wrong idea. I recently made a new ally before you. Even before Yashie and Saki. No reason to turn down somebody who wants to be an ally. A new ally? You made an arrangement, I see. Yeah, give me that. The bloody spork. Yeah, there's a lot of inconsistencies over a long series, that much is true. But there are some things that stick for a long time. And I would expect Suika's height to be one of them. <laughs> I've miscalculated, Totetsu already had an ally. My plan was to pretend to be friends with Totetsu and spy on her. A slight change of strategy is necessary. Talking to yourself in the graveyard, why are you here? No! As expected of a gal approved by Totetsu, you have excellent hobbies. Oh, you're a fucking weirdo. Cool. I already knew this. Who? I'm Chiari Tenkajin. What about you? Mamizo, I'm running a staffing agency on the surface. They said the Goyuku Alliance had a new ally. Is that you? Indeed. Hmm, what is Totetsu thinking? Bringing in somebody who's so obviously a spy. What do you say, Miss Mamizo Futatsuya? She didn't herself- wait, what? She didn't introduce herself- She did not introduce herself with her full name. How do you know her last name? The Baka Danuki. Well, I guess you knew me the whole time. Alright, never mind. She knew. She knows. That's a manga S. Alright, as much as I don't like Chiari- Chi uh, Chiari? Like her design, I- I think her theme is pretty goddamn good. So, she's got that for sure. There are two types of frogs that can be posted. There is he uh, he doesn't know Pepe Giggle, and there is he knows Monka S. But no matter no matter the current state of streamer's knowledge, there will always be a frog emote to follow. <laughs> Chad, I love Pepe. I love the little bastard. He's just. He's just a goober. Silly little frog lad. <laughs> He's out there living his best life. Man, her sprite looks pretty good, and her, her, you know what it is, chat? It's 100% her outfit. It's 100,000% Chiari's outfit. I, I, I think it looks so bad that it ruins the rest of the character design for me. Because when she's attacking with her sprite, it's like, oh, she looks sick. But then I look at her, and she's wearing those fucking half-cut denim and this like laundry day shirt and I'm just like what are you doing what are you wearing what the hell ow yeah okay she does have a massive fucking tail which is pretty cool Her outfit is not extravagant, but I don't even really think it's bad because it's not extravagant. I just think it looks like laundry clothes. It's like Udemy all over again. <laughs> I guess it's hard to have nice clothes when you live in hell. Wait, that's not true. Oren's outfit is designer fashion. So is Satori's. But again, Yugi's outfit is kind of silly. That, well, actually, I take that back, because when she's in her uh, work clothes, whew, the world changes. All right, see you later.
Nobody can kill anything in this goddamn game. And I don't know if that's a skill issue or that's like a power issue. Probably a little bit of both. But holy shit, it seems really hard to actually... Oops. It's like kind of hard to actually kill, shoot things down. Even when you're staying on them, the timer gets pretty low before they actually die. Granted, I could be using more like level 1s, but I don't think Mommy's Zelda level 1 is going to be very good here. Oh, thank you, James, the five gifted. Oh, Jesus. Oh. All right. Bombo clat. You have a sharp mind. I reckon I have seen you somewhere. Are you that chupacabra yokai? Chupacabra? No, I'm a tankajin. Don't worry, the chupacabra is very popular on the surface. Be proud of yourself. And what's with the test tube on your leg? Whose blood in that? Is in that? Oi, don't touch that without my permission. What is this? This yokai scent. I think I've only gotten that one every time. Everyone has good personal hygiene, even Donkey Kong. Nobody in this series has teeth, so they don't have to worry about brushing. Getting caught in the transport trap is not like me. I think I somehow managed to escape midway. Where is this place? Welcome to hell! Great lady's back. No matter who, no matter when, they are all welcome in hell! Who are you? My name is Hisami Yomutsu, the guide of hell. Hell? A trap to hell? How does the like of a chupacabra have something so vile? Now, where would you like to go today? I don't care, I've fallen into a trap! I'm leaving right now! Oh my, are you not aware? Once you're in hell, you can't get out by yourself. Come now, let me guide you to the very depths of hell. Hmm. Yuma does not have teeth. Zun's art does not have teeth. They don't. She's 100% gum. Don't ask me why. I don't make the goddamn rules. But Zun just doesn't draw teeth. You know who has the best personal hygiene? Anyone who lives in a mansion. You know what? No, Remy's a messy eater. That's canonical. You know what? I bet Alice has great hygiene. She seems very prim and proper. Marissa probably smells like her, uh, her floorboards. Remy and, well, uh, maybe not Flan. Remy probably, you know, she takes a bath every day. Sakuya does too, because Sakuya has to remain clean for the image. For her image. Mei-Link gets dirty outside. Patchy's probably... Actually, Patchy probably smells like mothballs. Hard to say. That might be a good scent for some people. Rainbow probably just smells like tea. She's not, she has, she has a source of water at her house. Somewhere, but it's there. So she can do her laundry there. She keeps clean. So she probably just smells like the stuff she, uh, she drinks and eats all day. You know, that nice wood finish. That old wood shrine finish. Jun smells like lavender. Only the finest soap for her. Dry clean the jacket every day. Meanwhile, her sister probably smells like sadness.
Oh. Alright. Need my shield back, please. Oh, I let it go too early. Oh, shit. Oi, oi, oi. Sadness? What does sadness smell like? Well, I'll tell you what she doesn't smell like. The ink on money. Then she probably smells like peaches. You think Wagasaki Hime smells like a fish? She probably smells like a fish. But it's okay because she uses natural fish oils. So she's really, you know. But she's still a little fishy. Only a little bit though. Do it again. All right. It's useless because the hell is not the kind of place you can leave on your own, right? I'll have to find someone with the authority to get me out of here. That is correct. As such, I'll take you to the one who has the authority to do so. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Kagado, uh, when Kagado sees the full moon, she's, you know, she gets hairy and she sheds and she doesn't like that. So she maintains her appearance. But if you cover, if you throw a bucket of water over her head, she'll probably smell like a wet dog. Hell is a saying no matter where you go. Futo smells like burnt wood. Nothing at all. Seriously. Nothing at all. Finally, you have arrived. You who came all the way from the province of Sado. Welcome. And who are you? My name is Zamu Nipaku. To think anyone could free themselves from a transport trap after it has sprung. If you got on the wrong train, you'd usually jump out the window, wouldn't you? N no? What? I don't understand your example. Nobody would do that. Anyways, your selfish actions have hindered me for long enough. I will imprison you here to prevent further meddling. Hindered you? Are you with the Kiketsu family or the Kega family? Hehe. <laughs> you dare let me in with those mongrels. Your judgment is as poor as your vision. Chat, she's wearing glasses, but they're not connected. They're just two separate monocles. I am my own alliance, the one who uses nothingness to quell this incident. Now shut up and witness. As you play into my hand, dear Tanuki Chief. Kagado's wolf-like traits pop in the full moon. Because she's a werewolf. She's affected by the incident in DDC. It makes her go a little feral. But then she gets embarrassed about it because she gets she gets her fur everywhere. So buy a lint roller. Momiji doesn't. Although Momiji is different. She's a Tengu. So while she is a wolf, she's still a Tengu. Whereas uh, Kagado is a wolf. Like primarily a wolf. Momiji has a tail, though. You know, chat, some of my favorite images are uh, the ones with, like, the, the dog characters. Or, I guess I should say canine characters. The ones with the canine characters, where they, like, their face is, like, they, they, their face is indifferent, but their tail is wagging. So they're clearly happy, but they're trying not to show it on their face. You see that with Momiji a lot. 
For a character like Kyoko, though, she's just always happy. So, you don't even need to see her tail. She's having a great time. On too. I don't know if On's tail wags, though. Probably does. Why wouldn't it? I can't even picture what On's tail looks like right now. Inoko's an interesting one because Inoko doesn't seem like the kind of character... She doesn't seem like the kind of character who, like, would have difficulty expressing themselves. You know? Momiji is definitely a character I could see being pretty no-nonsense. But she can also be, you know, whatever you really... Like, there's a lot of different interpretations of Momiji. But I've... Inoko seems very hyperactive. But also not really shy to say what's on her mind. Like, I like how all the interactions with her that we've seen recently were like... They were like, that's my pendant. And then you, she's like, no, it's mine. And then you beat her up and she's like, alright, I'll let you look, but I'm not giving it to you. It's mine. She found it. It belongs to her. Ow. Almost, okay. Oh, Jesus. Speed it up. That pin was just chilling in there. Okay. I'm on two lives, so I'm trying to pay attention here. Interesting bomb. Damn! She dead! Baki Danuki who thinks she rules the earth. Well, apparently she rules the canon at the moment. Alright. Yokai Mountain. Deep down, she thinks she is the greatest person in Gensokyo. <laughs> oh, mommy's though. Know. All right, chat. Next one. How many is that now? Three? Three, right? Okay. Hmm. Yeah! 
Yeah, the goat! The goat! So I gotta do these three now, right? And then there's six left for next time. Okay. Yashie Saki Totetsu. Alright. Alright, it's just about time. Now, we're in Gensokyo's own great stage, equal to heaven. Where is? Hmm, you called? Is it finally time to conquer the Cyphus? You're quick to seize an opportunity. I've recruited such a reassuring ally and one of flesh, too. Now, let's begin. This will be our final training session. Come at me. Ah, I knew you were here for a fight. I am now Bowser. Chat, do you think Yashie would get along with Bowser? You think they'd hit it off? Or do you think it'd be kind of weird? What would they even talk about? What, where, where are their common interests? Well, is Bowser even really that evil? Is he even really that evil? I doubt she could get along with anyone. That is not true. She very clearly gets along with herself. Her reflection. Her, herself, and her. Nobody loves Yashie Kusho quite like Yashie Kusho. Okay. Was King Kong evil? Uh, I'm pretty sure he was just a giant monkey who got uh, poached from his home and brought to the mainland and then he got angry. But I actually don't know King Kong lore at all. Yashie and Bowser would like, you know, they'd like get together and they talk about like, you know, they talk about taking things over and they, you know, they'd be hitting it off and then Bowser Jr. comes in and Yashie is like, and who is this little creature? And Bowser's like, oh, it's my son. And then Yashie is just like, oh, well, I can see this isn't going to work out. <laughs> She's not interested in single dads. Poor Bowser. And then all the Koopalings run in. And what about, okay, what are these? Adopted, yep. He's got eight kids and they love him very much. Dear old dad. Yashi is not ready for that kind of commitment. There's a stick next to me. Okay, that's enough. You need to work with the beast spirits to defend our territory once we've taken it. Understood. Chad, they're doing the fucking finger touch. You see that? It's like that that image. You know that image? The one where God touches the guy's finger? It's like that. Then what will you do, Lady Yashie? Does that just have a sound effect? I will pay the Kega family and the Goyuko Alliance a visit to keep them in their lane. I'm particularly interested in the Kago family. Their new friend looks rather capable. Minky. I'd rather throw sticks. This is the place from the rumors, but here she comes, chat. Oh! With that long, scaly tail. Could it really be? Matriarch Kisho of the Hikatsu family? Well, why would she come here? Heh! This opportunity is already ripe, you ancient wolf pup. Let's let the feast begin! Gave her an eye patch. Yashie grew her tail out because it's a sign of dominance. It's to show that she's the big meat in town. If I learned anything from Dragon Ball Z video games, is that the greatest healing item in the game, aside from the Sensu Bean, was the dinosaur tail. 
And apparently, and you know, Kobayashi is also the same. Dragon Tail is apparently very yummy, yum yum. It's plump and full of good, the good shit. But I don't think you can eat Yashie's tail. Or maybe you can. They grow back. I think. Maybe. Well, according to Toru, they grow back anyway. I don't think Yashie eats her own tail. I don't want to believe that to be the case. That's kind of weird. You know, now that I really look at it, Yashie's outfit is pretty simple, huh? Like, she's got the antler horns and the big shell and tail, but her outfit kind of looks like, uh... I don't know, it just kind of looks like a, a normal outfit. Looks nice, it's not bad. Saki looks like she's wearing, like, stitched rags. And Yuma's outfit's kind of weird, too, with the way her sleeves, like, detach on the upper arm part. Mm. Head fire. Whoops. God, her shot is strange. The way the focus shot, like, moves in, very strange. Bad hit to take. Alright. I'm blue over there. Lady Saki's not going to stay quiet now that you pulled this crap. Of course she won't. Because that's part of my plan. I've only gotten that one from her. Yeah, I don't know. Yashie's outfit doesn't really strike me as big boss. Like, look at it. It's not bad. It's like a simple enough outfit. It looks fine. But considering Yashie's, like, position, it is kind of impressive. That it's so underwhelming. It's like if the boss rolled up in street clothes. It's like the boss rolls up in the best getup they got. An active battle really gets the blood pumping and the body jumping. Oh my. She- I don't know what's going on with Saki's outfit, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's strange to see Yashie come out here herself. Like you're tired of waiting. You really did beat in Enoko. 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 You're pretty hard, but- it, pretty hard by the looks of it. I'm looking for to pay it back to you. I already have, actually. Your little monkey hermit came a-knockin'. She couldn't hold up- hold me up for long. She was weaker than I expected. A disappointing show, really. What did you do to be 10 I won't forgive you! Get ready! In this world, the strong trample the weak. In the end, only the cruel and ruthless will prevail. Good old musclehead Saki. I appreciate how simple an idea Saki truly is at her core. Not to say she can't be an interesting or, like, you know, deep character. But at her core, she is the might makes right, uh, it, like, antagonist type of character. But she also respects, like, she hundred- she just respects strength in general. Even those of her enemies. So all you really gotta do to get her to fuck off is prove that you're strong. And she'll be impressed. Whereas, with Yashie, I don't really know what you have to do. It's probably best to not engage. And then for Yuma, you can just be like, I wanna join you. And she'll be like, alright, cool. Long as you're not weak. But Saki seems to be the one who prioritizes, you know, strength the most of the three. But obviously they don't want to just recruit any old willy-nilly. I just like how Yuma is so quick to accept anybody. But because, she, you know, you have to do a fight, she has to have that little quirk. The, the otters are kind of cowardly. And Yashie is, uh... She's good at getting people to do things with her words and just her, like, ability. The wolves are very headstrong. And their leader is Miss Muscle over here. 
And then the Eagles, I believe, are arrogant. They're quite arrogant. And their leader is Yuma, who is like anything but. <laughs> Yuma just vibes. Her, her entire existence is just her doing whatever she wants. I dig that. I truly do. One for the country. Someday we'll see the fourth group. Someday. The fact that they're not present in this game, though, is pretty interesting. This would be the perfect game for it. the fight along, but I don't want to lose my shield regen. Yashi has got that turtle shell protection. Come on. Oh, okay. Well. That's a rarity. Goofy ass shot. Yeah, Pegasus cross. We go back to the center. From the left. This is the perfect opportunity for them to come out because their operations are in hell, right? Also, chat, you see that squiggly on next to Yashige's head? Do you see how it's uh, it's cut out? Like it was drawn and it touched the end of the canvas? That's bothering me. It shouldn't, but it is. Done already? Have you gotten this week? Today is just disappointment after disappointment. Kih, sorry, I just couldn't focus on the fight. Did something happen? No, it's just why did why did you do it? Why to Inoko? <laughs> what? Sorry, I couldn't focus. Like why why did you do that to her? That was that was so mean. What? <laughs> well, I can't believe she, that was so that was left field. I heard Yuma also made a new friend. How unusual for that loner. What do you mean? She has all kinds of friends. People love her! There are all lots of reports she's here, but... Hey, Chupacabra, you here? Who's there? I'm not some weird yokai like a Chupacabra or something. Oh, this is gonna be her fandom quirk, huh? Is, is this... This is gonna be her thing? Where she's not a... Everybody calls her a Chupacabra, but she's a Tenkajin? Not a chupacabra, and she keep, you know, we're gonna do- this is it? This is her character? I'm a tankajin! Is, oh, is that so? My sincere apologies, chupacabra- <laughs> Chupacajin of the Goyuku Alliance. To bring up the name of the Goyuku Alliance, just who are you? Not gonna comment on that other bit, huh? I am the matriarch of the Kiketsu family, Yashie Kisho. Ah, the Kiketsu family, now it makes sense. I was told to off any of Totetsu's enemies without a second thought. The Kiketsu family are enemies, right? Right? Why'd you do it, Yashie? Why? What did she do to you? I wasn't ready for that. I thought I thought it was gonna be like, no, someone's following you or something happened. But no, Saki just hit the emotional plea. She's just like, why'd you hurt my dog? Yashie, why did you kick my dog? I love that dog. I've only had her for a day. But I love her. Gee, Saki, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't realize. I didn't know. You kicked the shit out of my monkey. I was just getting. Oh, actually, I can't say getting even because Yashie started it. Oh, 
Why'd you do it? Saki understands, because Saki was once Miko's partner, you know? I can't believe those two have yet to interact. I'm so curious how that would go. How Miko and Saki would interact with each other. <clears throat> Saki was her invaluable partner. The Black Pegasus of Prince Shotoku. Whoops, my L button gave out. I'm unfortunate. Uh, that was weird. Okay, those chase after you when you get near them, but they dissipate at a slow rate. Okay. She's aware of Miko's existence against Tokyo, I'm sure. And surely at this point, Miko's aware of hers. But Miko's group hasn't really done... They haven't really been pre uh, like. They haven't been involved in anything in a while. Not since 15.5, which admittedly isn't that long ago. What do you think about it? But still, it's been a while since their group has uh, taken the stage in any meaningful way. Then again, the only way their, their group takes the stage is when it's Futo or Miko, because Tojiko barely counts as a character. Mid-bosses tend to get- like, mid-boss only characters tend to get shafted a lot in canon. I think Tay is the most, uh, the most utilized in canon one. Because Tay also stopped being a mid-boss after Tall 8, became a playable character in Tall 9. So she doesn't really count in that regard anyway. But Momiji, uh, Shizuha, Kisume, Lily, and Tojiko. They don't really get a lot of uh, anything. Kwakuma and Daiyose aside, because obviously those, those characters are a little special in that regard. I just find it interesting because the the UFO crew had like five characters to it. And currently the character part the even though that group has a lot of characters attributed to it, uh Sho is basically their Tojiko. Sho just doesn't appear in anything ever. You get Futo, you get Ichiden, or sorry, you get Ichiden, you get Byakuden. You recently we got Murasa, we got Nazrin in this game, but just Show is a no-show. Alright, that's the game. As expected of the Matriarch. By the way, why do you- how do you keep your tail so glossy? Oh, that? It's- here's my secret. I'm early to bed and early to rise. Right, I'll go to sleep early too. I'll start right now. When I heard Yuma made a new friend, I thought the world had gone mad. But now I get it. What do you mean? You two are cut from the same cloth. Oh, they're both idiots. How do you make your tail so shiny? Bedge. Okay, bedge. Alright, she's going to go sleep. Almost done making the rounds. Yuma Totetsu is the last on my list. It doesn't seem like she's showing her mug in the animal realm lately. I need to brace myself. Oh, but isn't Yashie? You finally feel like starting? By the way, I heard about Chiari. Meh, she can't win. That's her problem. How cold? Is that attitude appropriate for a leader? If anything, it's a kindness. To fly to the weak into suffering for you is more cruel. Well, it's not good to meddle in the policies of other groups. Ooh! Ooh, that shut you down, didn't it, girl? Enough talk. It's high time we get to fighting. I'm itching to grab that tail of yours and show off my giant swing. Ooh! Give it a little loop-de-loop. -loop. So long, Gayashi, eh? <laughs> she knew the tech. If you grab Yashie's tail, you can spin her around. Cyclone style.
Wow. Wait, this is battle five, yeah. Okay. What I'm really curious about is who they're gonna meet at the end of this. Will they finally meet with uh, Zamazo? If all three of them finally meet up with them, but then there's like the other characters' stories. Oh, well. We're gonna... We're gonna take that. Yuma wins. Go home. Battle is the best spice. Alright. Hmm. Cannot grab the tail if it's out of, uh... Literally out of draw distance. <laughs> Yuma... I like that Yuma squats. <clears throat> I just think it's funny. Like... She's got the squat in 17.5 as well. She puts it over the back of her shoulders and she smiles. Yep. But in this game, she squats down with it on her side. It's just a good, it's it's the perfect punk pose, you know? It's, it's the kind of like delinquent pose that you could expect from a character like Yuma based on her attitude. Give me that back. Blast. I want to see what she looks like when she stands upright. All of her move, like poses and whatnot, are her like slouched. Cause she's got that huge ass spoon she carries around. What is she even doing with it? Like, what's the game plan with it? She's not drinking the petroleum blood anymore. Why does she still have it? You think it's like a family heirloom or something? Like somebody made it for her, so she just keeps it? What if I gave her a giant knife? She has a giant spork. I'll give her a giant knife, you know? That'll get me in good. You gotta bring a gift for the boss. That's a perfect gift. Make it a butter knife though, you know? You don't want to make it super sharp, otherwise it's just scary. You gotta make it a butter knife so it matches the cutlery as uh, aesthetic of it. The thing is, a butter knife may not cut, but a butter knife that size is definitely a blunt object. Well, I mean, so is the giant spork. I'm sure she could handle it. Chat, how heavy do you think that thing is? Someone, someone do the math. Based on her size and the size of that thing, how heavy is that giant, uh, spoon she's swinging? Is it like Cloud's Buster Sword? Or it's just a fucking slab of metal? Alright, let's try not getting hit again. There you go. Okay, May's anchor is like game over. I'll admit defeat this time. That thing is solid steel, right? It's gotta be heavy. That aside, you're acting weird. You're not the type to go out looking for a fair fight. 
You're quite right about that. Maybe this incident is driving me mad. Or maybe... Oh, so you notice too. Someone is working behind our backs. Well, that's a relief. I got it. How heavy is Mewtwo's spoon? I made that joke actually when I, I saw her the first time. <laughs> With the, the spoon. Hmm. It took a lot of time, but I finally tracked down a route here. Whatever you're hiding, come out. I have words. That's all you got. To hide is an Oni's duty. What business do you have here, O Yashie Kisho, matriarch of the Kikatsu family? Funny story, you know Biten's staff? I noticed it's actually a teleportation trap. Since she was an asset to the family, I, fi I had figured I would let it slide. But then, would you believe it, I found the same trap on the Kega family's new dog. Is that so strange? These are dangerous times. Traps lie and wait for everywhere. The story of that monkey in the sanctuary. I first heard it when you... No, more than that, only someone like you would devise such a roundabout scheme. You'll have all three families kill each other so you can gorge on the fruits of our labor. Are you that hungry? Hmm. <laughs> you mongrels of the animal realm are too slow to notice. The fruits of your labor? Don't make me laugh. Why do you worthless creatures not understand? All of it from the very start belonged to me. You know, these new Toho characters are kind of scary. There, no one in this game is just like Lily White. You notice that? Like all the new characters, they got you got new recruit one for for Animal Mafia, new recruit one for other Animal Mafia, and new recruit one for other Animal Mafia. Then you got Hell Guide Lady, and you have this scary bitch. Where's my Lily White? Where's this game's innocent stage two boss, who's just chilling and doing whatever? Where are they? Everyone here is so angry. No new hell fairy. No new fairy, no nothing. Perfect opportunity for a hell fairy though. Clown could have been in this game. She has ties to hell. Guess she's busy. Whenever Zun makes a game, he makes sure to check with every character's individual schedules. If they're busy that day and they can't work that incident, then it's just how it has to be. Ow. All right. All right, I died earlier, so I have full HP. Give me that clown. I enjoy clown. Chat, actually that reminds me. I read a Dojin couple days ago. Uh, it was by... It was by Hirosaka Makoto, the artist behind Fairy Wars. So, it's always funny when you read, uh, like, a fan Dojin from an official, like, illustrator of the series. Because it's like, this is not canon, but it's their art style, which is used in canon, so it's like, oh, okay. Anyway... I think it was actually their most recent dojin. They just made a dojin about Clown Peace having maple syrup. And she liked it so much she ate all of Sunny's maple syrup. And Sunny was like, Clown, what the fuck? And so they had to go out and find more, but it was not the season for maple syrup. But then Clown received a gift from fairies that she did not, like just two fairies. And they gave her some maple syrup and all's well that ends well. And the fairies that were, th those fairies in particular were, I think they were the background panel fairies for when they confronted Okina in Visionaries. And at the very end, they're like, oh, you got it from some fairies? Cool, what was their names? And Clown's like, uh, what were their names? And then the very last panel, they go and, uh, you can see them approaching Diose, and they're gonna go have fun, because they're Diose's friends. 
But it was all in the official Great Fairy Wars Sengetsu Sei art style. So I was like, oh, neat. And it's just a cute little story about Clown discovering the wonders of maple syrup. It is delicious. Thank you, Doctor, for the resub. Oh, this is a... Okay, that's fine. Rhythm is back. I'd love to see a boss die enough times that the fight ends early. I'm pretty sure the only reason they're dying is because they're forcing themselves into an um, impossible situation in the corner based on certain attacks. I can't really tell because I'm not looking, but I'm pretty sure all of them have died in the bottom left corner of the screen. Man, Mommy's those bomb killed him. Oh, well. Good enough. <laughs> I'd love to see Chiari. I bet the AI can't deal with that. Irresistible matriarch of the Kiketsu family. They mean that literally. You cannot resist her. <clears throat> All right. Yashie is now taking a break. All right. Two more, chat. Okay. All right, I gotta pee real quick though. Okay. I will be right back. I am in fact right back. Come on chat, guess I'll die. Alright, Saki. Red. And Oko, you here? Uh, Lady Saki, the preparations are ready. At last, time for that decisive battle. Let's do one last warm up exercise. Yes, but you really don't have to do that. Shut up and stop complaining. Let's go. Oh, she's got lasers. You know, I feel like I should know that, but I just haven't been paying attention to the enemy. At all, and how they shoot. All right. Hmm. That's a weird. Oh yeah. Okay. It's a weird. Like it's like it's a big oval. Holy shit! She's... Look how quick she is. Holy fuck. Mega spread shot. She's so fast. It's like Aya. She's this game's Aya. Is she faster than Aya? Well, I have no idea. I 
don't even have enough for a level 3 attack I can get my shield back. Dancing. Oh, it's not done. Okay. I think it's funny that Saki is canonically very short. She's very short, but she uses things like her wings to make herself look bigger. To be more intimidating. I bet those pumps that she wears give her a few inches too. And the hat. Well, it is 10 gallons after all. It is a 10 gallon hat. Look at that height. Yes, my body hasn't grown dull. You fight every day, there's no time for it to grow dull. You protect the you protect the land from the earth, Yokai. I'll teach our troublesome enemies a lesson they won't soon forget. Hmm. You can't get to the former Hell of Blood Pools without first going through the Hell of Blazing Fires. This old blood pool really is in such a faraway place. Well, that's what Tetsu is hard to deal with. That fellow prefers not to meet anyone. Oh my, oh my. Just when I think it's Oku, another character shows up. Oh, there's a character missing. Who are you? Saki Korokoma, matriarch of the Kega family. And you must be Totetsu's roommate associate, the Chupacabra. I'm not some weird yokai like a Chupacabra or something. I'm a Tenkajin. I was told to off any of Totetsu's enemies without a second thought. Kega family are enemies, right? Right? Thank God she's battled too. It means the fight won't go on as long. Hey, at least Oku got a mention. Where's Sho? Where's Sho? Oku was also a boss in 17.5. Had a nice design. Not a very great boss fight though. Better than Kutaka's. But that's not saying much. Oku's job is to regulate. She can't just go to the surface all willy-nilly like old Orin can. Orin's doing all the detective work. I... I'm not moving. Nope. I'm choosing not to move. There you go, see? Perfect. Hmm. The fifth boss of UFO is Nazarin. That is correct. It's just Nazarin, but she puts on a wig. How else? How else can you explain that her spell card and her first spell card are the same spell card, hmm? It's literally unexplainable otherwise. They have to be the same character. Did you know the word, the rat? The word rat rhymes with the word cat? It's all coming together. It's all been a dirty secret since the start. I've never seen them together in the same place. Have you? Unless they made cameos in 13.5. I don't know if they were in the background together or not. I don't even know if they were in, together in, like... Does show even show up in manga panels? Jeez. I'm thinking about the chapter where, uh... Unzan pretended to be Buddha, and I'm pretty sure that entire conversation was handled by like Ichiden. Ow. Oh great. My neck has become itchy. Whew. Hmm. 
How was that? I surrender, I surrender! I might even beat a Totetsu like this. She's up ahead, right? Well, the rumors said the Kaga family is full of meatheads. But you're more like super meatheads. I don't hate that. Alright. Hmm. Ew, what kind of beast wants to live here? Oi, Yuma, I know you're here! Who? Oh, if it isn't Saki. This awful place suits you perfectly. No one would ever want to touch such a cursed land. And even if you did want it, it's not for sale. Pfft, I don't want it. We've talked enough. Clearly tonight's ingredients have come to do battle. Tonight's menu, horse sashimi and yakitori. Hold on chat, I have to pee. So I'm going to pee. So I will be right back. It's getting obnoxious. Alright, I am now relieved. And I am now ready to game. Gamers. <clears throat> Go! Finally caught a stream, and the streamer has been missing for five minutes. Great entertainer he is. Indeed. That's right, invisible chat member. All he does is sit there and talk over the game he plays. I do not understand. Chad, I got a comment like that recently. I got a comment that was very upset at me. Because I chose to... I, I, I talked too much. I talked too much over the game instead of just playing the game. This is a good comment. It was a good comment. I liked it. Felt good. The comment ended with, This isn't... This isn't a Toho New World playthrough. This is a... This is... This is a... This is a... Uh, someone talking with Toho New World in the background. Like, damn, brother, you're right. <laughs> that is exactly what this is. There is no progress being made, no story being read, no video game being acknowledged. <coughs> my bad. My bad, dog, my bad. 
Next time I'll keep my mouth shut. I hope he doesn't watch any uh, any of the visual novel stuff. Like Busy Person or Aya Ace Attorney. Because if he does, he probably will not be very happy. Though I'm pretty bad for that in those uh, particular ones. I get Omega sidetracked by random bullshit all the time. Especially when it's all reading. That just happens. I don't have control over that, okay? That's just me getting... That's just me thinking of something and then I gotta f follow through on my thought because I can't progress the game or I'll never be able to, like, finish it because the game is always gonna be red, you know? It's not like where I can do this where it's like I'm playing the game right now but, like, I don't have to read anything. I don't know why I'd do it. Well, I mean, I know why i do it in the case of Busy Person. It's because I'm under the influence of alcohol. Well, that sucks. Oh. Hmm. Game crap. I'll admit defeat this time. Hmm. You fought fair and square. I wonder. Has your matter with the surface already settled? Tardim. I'm just getting started. Did you not notice it? Hmm? Your enemy isn't me or Yashie, much less Reimu. Hmm. My enemy isn't Yuma or Yashie, much less Reimu. What's that mean? Eh, I heard that Inoko was just defeated by Yashie. First things first, I gotta exact revenge. Ah, you're the matriarch of the Kega family, Saki Kurokoma. I heard you were gonna fight Lady Ashie. Looks like you know exactly why I came here. Yep, seems like you're going straight to the top brass. Brace yourself, horse girl. Alright, monkey. Look, chat. It's not, you know, I when I when I boot up a video game, I just boot up a video game and I play it. You know, that's all. That's all it is. It's not like, I, you know, I hit you with the what's up gamers. I'm back, and here today we're going to be checking out this cool new game. But first, have you ever heard of Manscaped? That's right, Manscaped. Because me, I was always a dollar shave club kind of guy. But then, I don't know what happened to them actually, never mind. But now Manscaped is the only way to shave. Here, check out our razors. You buy them, and then you shave yourself. Whoa. But our razors are better because they're... They're better. Yes. Yes. Def yes. Damn. That sounds pretty good. I better get myself some Manscape. Right now. I have not been advertised Raid Shadow Legends in a while, so there's that. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't want to get manscaped. Although I do wish I didn't grow facial hair. Because I don't want to have to keep buying razors to shave it, but I have to. And it doesn't grow in super well on me. So I had just cut it because it's annoying. If I could just not grow hair on my face, that'd be great because it's not going to look good anyway. But instead I have to buy money, uh, I have to spend money on razors to chop the hair off every week. Every week! God, that shit grows back fast, let me tell you. Oh, well. Minky damn. No, no, no. <clears throat> I 
I save once a week because that's all I need to do to maintain. But I wish I didn't have to shave at all. There you go. Game over. What did I expect? Of course a leader would be strong. Eh, it's so unfortunate. Unfortunate? What is? The Kiketsu family doesn't capitalize on highly skilled fighters like you. I really wanted you. Saki wants everybody. Let me bear the misfortune. What does that mean? Enoko is injured and a human who approached disappeared? Got it. Dispatch more wolf spirit reinforcements and have them monitor the situation. What the heck happened to Enoko? Hey, are you here? Looks like you already also come prepared. I can't wait anymore. You really did beat Enoko senseless. I was just about to seek revenge from you anyway. By the way, your monkey was much weaker than I thought. I'm so disappointed. You beat Biten? I won't forgive you. Get ready. Biten. It's in this world the strong trample of the weak in the end. The cruel and the ruthless will prevail. What a great place for a final battle. You think Aka's here? Aka's just chilling on the bank. Stacking rocks. She looks up and it's just these two having a big old battle. But for some reason, there's like a bajillion fairies here around them. For like no reason. But it's okay because she's just stacking rocks. She's just stacking rocks. Not, you know, nothing. Not, it's like, you know, it's like the grill meme. The world's falling apart around her, but she just wants to stack rocks. Well, maybe it's not so much a want. Hard to tell. Why'd you do it? Why did you beat her up like that? Saki can't let Yashie know that she picked, uh... She picked such a good subordinate. She has to downplay her. Saki believes that Viten's skills are being underutilized. Because Yashie is not someone who uh, values, I guess, just raw strength as much as Saki does. You beat Enoko senseless. Misugashira! These goddamn super otters, man. Yo, Saki's lasers, like, piercing everything is kind of insane. Yo, I forgot that's what this was. Ow. However, her level 3 is pretty high up the bar. Oh my god. Please die. Alright. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, well, that actually wasn't that bad. It's all well and good. Okay. I do not like Yashie's nons. When I practice them for hard mode. Oh. When I practice them for hard mode, I had to strain my eyes to look at them. And I didn't have blue lights or anything, so I actually made my eyes hurt. Did not enjoy practicing them at all. Why'd you do it, Saki? Ho oh, ho, aren't you strong even when it Aren't you strong even when you fight fair? Kuh, I should have aimed below the belt. Don't <laughs> No? Well, say, how? Why, Inoko? I ask that you properly feel ashamed for what you did. <laughs> oh, 
hardworking otter. Saki cares. It's a weird conversation. Really, is that so? Why didn't I notice? You were there from the start, weren't you? Hey, this is your handiwork, isn't it, Zanmusama? So, so late. You kept me waiting for so long, oh matriarch of the Kaga family, Saki Kurokoma. I heard the trap you set on Inoko was a warp was a warp trap. I decided to try it out myself and I ended up here in hell. Is it you who introduced me to Enoko in the first place? It's you who introduced me to Enoko in the first place, right? Well, that kind of rat about tomfoolery couldn't be anything but yours. In short, you're saying you're trying to take over my Kaga family, yes? Utterly despicable. Hmm. You mongrels of the animal realm were too slow to notice. But I want to control- I want control over the Kago family. What a moron. From the beginning, you were completely in the palm of my hands. Do you understand, lowly beast? This character is so powerful. She is so powerful. Everybody who's beaten her has actually just lost Lamau. No one can actually beat her. Don't worry. Saki can do it. Take the scary lady out. I don't know who this lady was beforehand, but she... It's kind of insane that she just came down to hell and was like, this has got to change. And then just, you know... <laughs> it did. Goodbye, fairies. Gotta appreciate that the fairy sprites have not changed in, you know, 20 years. Booba day. Oh my god. Oh, okay. That was definitely a bit wild. Okay. Beat it up. Beat it up. She might be as strong as Lunarian, but if I know Zun, this game's plot would be over the second a Lunarian got involved. No Eden. Nope, no Eden. Eden is not concerned about any of this, so it's fine. Oh, good spot. Hmm. How fascinating. It's just me or I feel like she's throwing a lot more shit at me than she did in other ones. Ow. Come on, lady. Pop! I got right to the next attack. A boot to the head! Hundred percent a boot to the head. Ouch. Hmm. Huh. Ah, 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 ah. Charging matriarch of the Kaga family. 
Wow. Very impressed by her strength. One more chat. One more. One more. Yuma. Kari did show up in an ending, but she didn't show up in the game. Sharika has not shown up yet. Here she is. Hey, Chiari! Yes? Why are you bothering me at this hour? What time do you think it is right now? What time is it? How am I supposed to tell from here? Oh, right. What matters is now is our big moment. Get your head in the game. Riveting conversation, you two. Chad, I'm pretty sure she's throwing forks or sporks, but they kind of look like skeleton hands. She's throwing skeleton hands. She feels kind of slow. Oh. Wait a minute, what? Bro, that's just the miracle mallet. <laughs> that's the miracle mallet animation. Whoop. She's got a really strong melee move. Whoa! Okay. And then level two has got Yum uh, Yomu. Swing it around. Hmm. I knew this thing was powerful. Charge! Her shot feels really strange. And she's a bit, yes. Yeah, oh, I mean, I did just play Saki, so comparatively, she feels very slow. Well, there's definitely something about it that's below average speed. Ow. All that shit just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. <laughs> this sucks the entire screen. She killed me. Suck. Slurp. Oh, there's bullets. All right, maybe back up. Oh, not that. Okay, she's dead after this one, so. I will survive. There we go. You mean it's time for the decisive battle? Well, something like that. My enemies might come to mess with you, so be ready. Extremely cursed blood. Throw a lot of syringes. Okay. Blood. So that monkey is Yachie's foothold. How did that kind of friendship come to be? I want to know. Who are you? 
Are you perhaps the head of the Goyoku Alliance, Toyuma Totetsu? If you've come, then that means it's finally begun! Heh, <laughs> You're an energetic youth. As expected, freshly awakened yokai or something else. The decisive battle begins. To start, I'll take you out in style. I'm now shooting syringe. Get stabbed by my cursed blood. Ouch. Who do you think's got stronger horns? Yuma or, or Suika? Whose horns are stronger? My money's on Suika's. But I don't know. Who could say? Not like we'll ever have any information on this ever. That's not allowed. You're not allowed to want to know in details like that. You just gotta accept the animal aspects of the characters, like... Like, you just, you gotta accept it. This character has animal ears, how do they function? Do they have human ears? No. Orin does, though. Orin's a fucking weirdo, she's got four sets of ears. That's why she lives underground. Not because she corp- she fairies corpses underground, it's because she's got four sets of ears and everybody thinks that's weird. Oh, whoops. I got hot dogged. Yuma can't impale you with her horns. She can only ram ranch you. It would probably hurt to get head butted. But Suika could impale you, so. But that means Suika's horns are less pleasant to sleep on. Hmm. So your name's B10. How do Yashie Singer hooks into you? When I was on the cusp of falling to hell, Lady Yashie extended a helping hand. That is to say, I owe her my life. The biggest psychopath in the animal realm saved your life, huh? That's not very nice, yeah, uh, <laughs> you mum, but it's true. <laughs> the biggest psychopath in the animal realm. Not a nice thing to say. Hey! Yes, yay! Are you in? Who is it? Hmm, if it isn't Yuma. What are you doing taking center stage? You're calling the riverbed a limbo center stage? You don't even have anywhere to stand on. What? Was it? It was that or the former hell of blood pools. Ah, sorry about that. The riverbed of limbo will make a fine stage. Anyways, the decisive battle got sparked off. By yours truly. Hmm, <laughs> finally. Be sure to come at me with your best, then surpass even your best. Little Bastard 1 meets Little Bastard 2. Rin can hear everything. She can hear all of your sins. Every one of them. That's what happened to her face. She heard too much. And her face couldn't take it. It's a sad story. One you like you never heard before, because I just made it up. But it's a sad story. Too many ears. She can hear too much. Maybe she should invest in a pair of headphones, like Nico. Not actually headphones, by the way. They're earmuffs. Nico can hear ten different things at once, but she wears those earmuffs because it like restrains her power. So she can't hear like 10 different things at once. Could you imagine hearing 10 different voices in your head like that at all times? And it's just people like wanting stuff. God, that'd be awful. Good thing she got those incredible earmuffs. She might have went mad. Ow. Bring it back. I wonder how much the melee damage does to bosses. Probably not enough to warrant going up there and smacking them, but who knows. 
That's true. Miko could in fact enjoy 10 different videos of Family Guy funny moments all at the same time. But that's more of a curse than a blessing because that means she'll run out of Family Guy funny moments faster than any human being alive. And then what will she have? Oh, I know, she can watch Family Gal. She can watch all three episodes at once. And then she can bochi wiggle. And never remove the earmuffs ever again. You can't, you can't just watch infinite funny Family Guy funny moments because not everything is funny. But you've watched all the certified funny moments already. Any other clip show would just be rehashes of the same clips. It doesn't work. It has to be with the same uploader, so there's consistency. How interesting. I don't know if she could watch One Piece, because she would be watching 10 episodes at once, but she would be getting the plot of all of them at the same time and having to like piece together what's happening all in one go. Which doesn't really work. Because the events of like episode 10, for example, could take place right after a huge event at the end of episode 9. Which is like, would you want to do that? I wouldn't. What would be the point? Did you watch all of One Piece? Yes. Did you enjoy all of One Piece? That's a different question entirely. Well, I guess that was okay. By Kiketsu family standards. I can't fight at my best when it's fair and square. Heh, right you are. Only wimps pride themselves on fighting fair. Sorry you couldn't show off your strengths. I really mean that. Jittery Otter. Oh, I got her hand. Give me your hand. So the old Yamainu is Saki's foothold. You never got a good eye for talent, but... Oh, those distinctive looks could only be... The head of the Goyuku Alliance, Yumo Totetsu? That means you're my enemy! Great! I was told to crush all our enemies without exception. That the Kaga fam that's the Kaga family for you. They taught you good. In this world, survival of the fittest. If you're weak, then you should just die. Alright. Miko's ability would allow her to consume many different content. However, she only has two eyes. So while she can hear ten different content, she cannot see it. So in actuality, she can listen to every podcast in the world and be up to date on everything. And then she can start her own. Because she has absorbed all the necessary informations from all of them that she can do it, uh, she can make her own. We'll call it the Taoist Tea Time. Triple T. Miko just, you know, she just runs a podcast. What's she talk about? I don't know. She probably has guests on the line. You know, some callers on the horn. All three of them in Gensoki with a phone. I need, uh, my shield back. Can I have it? No, I don't think Miko would preach Taoism being better than, than Buddhism. Miko's whole thing before she came to Gensokyo was preaching about Buddhism being so good. Because Taoism is a more selfish, uh... Taoism is selfish. She wanted the people to be complacent with what they had with Buddhism. Whereas Taoism is like a pursuit of uh, something greater, something more. So she used Buddhism to quell the masses as she herself pursued uh, Taoism. Nowadays, Miko only really, like, she takes on disciples, but she's only really interested in furthering her own, uh, her own, like, her own self, you know? That's where her main, uh, concern lies, improving herself. Where Byakuin is interested in helping others and all that, Miko is more selfish. But she's not, like, super selfish, where she'd just turn away anybody. So I don't think she's the kind of character who would preach Taoism. 
Now, if she was talking to like a Buddhist, she'd probably talk about how how Taoism is better. But I don't think she's the kind of character who would just run around and be like, "Yeah, Taoism is great. Check it out," and you know, do whatever the fuck she's doing. Oh well. Time to drink the wooden finish. Oh my. You know, if you go off the year of release to current year for character ages that we know of, then Chiri is, uh, Chiri is almost 40 years old. Chiri was, I think she was 17. She was 17, I believe, in Tall 3, which came out in 1997. So, uh, yeah. She's old. She's a BOOMER! You made me as in her 40s. But I bet she still looks great. She was 15. Okay, I know she was, uh... She was young. I'm pretty sure you made me as 19. Because I know they were both very young for their respective roles. Because Shiri's a college student and Shiri's a college professor. But they were really young. So strong. By the way, how'd you become one of Saki's followers? Ah, it was the power lady Saki held that saved me from falling into hell. So you can say I owe her my life. Hell, you owe her your life? And where have I heard that before? It's like deja vu. Friend of the Kega family. Not hit wolf spirits. Look at her! Puppy. What are you thinking, Saki? I guess I'm not one to talk, but you've been befriending a pretty shady yokai. What I what I think? I don't have any problems. Apart from the fact that you're here, Yuma, that's a pretty big problem. You were trying to get into a fight with me, deliberately going after my foothold like that. Aha! The decisive battle enters its last phase. Once I take you out, I'll end things for now. Very well, I'll show you the power and speed of the top beast. Hmm. Sumireko would do that. Sumireko would find Yumemi's ship and be like, Yo! She, and, you know, you know she'd like act all interested and then Yumemi would give her a tour. And then, you know, you... Sumireko, yeah, like, you know, where's, uh, where's the, where's the sick bay? Uh, where's the, where's the shields? Uh, where's the cafeteria? It's just like asking all these specific area questions. And you made me just like, oh, well, we got this. And that's... And that's when she drops the question. She's like, hey, you know, I got a... I got a cool idea for a, you know, like a little... Got a cool idea for a game if you're interested. Alright? Alright, so basically, here's how it goes. Alright, so you got eight people on the ship. Right? And one of them is not like the others. And they gotta... They gotta take everybody else out on the ship before the crew members... The other... The, the, the crew members figure them out and blast them into space, alright? It's a, it's a good idea, right? And you made me just like... Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? No, no, it's good. So, you know, you, like, you, we get a button here in the cafeteria. And you like you hit it, and the game pauses. Everybody has to come up to the table, you know, and just you know, play a little game. That's all. It's cool. Kids love it. Yeah. Hey, while you're at it, get a med get a uh, get a scanner. Get a scanner that detects alien life. New A wouldn't be very good at that game, but at the same time, she would be very good at that game. She couldn't do med bay scan. She's alien. No, she would be the best at that game because she can she can impersonate others. You know, speaking to that chat, one of my favorite aspects of Nue and Fanon is that whenever she's uh 
whenever she's pretending to be somebody, an aspect of the character design has red and blue. Like red on the left side and blue on the right side. I like that touch a lot. Like it can be like their eyes, their accessories. But an aspect of the character design is colored the same as her wings to show that it's not like actually them and it's her. It's a small thing you kind of have to look out for, but it's cool. I like it when I see those. <coughs> M1 did it. M1 did it with a... Uh... And I thought it was really neat because I didn't notice it at first and then I noticed it after the fact. My own fucking eagle, man. It really be your own. Hey. Oi, oi, oi. Come on. Come on. You're as tough as ever, Yuma. What's wrong? Got something on your mind? Bah! I've already resolved myself. Guess I should head over to her. Moosells. Those fights back there made up my mind. That sense of something being off I've been feeling doesn't come from these two. If that's the case, it come from whoever's behind Biten and Inoko. And Shiari isn't on it too, without a doubt. These people all have something in common. Hell! And your instigation, Zanmu Nipaku. So I've been found out. Does one need this level of instinct to make it as top dog of the animal realm? I thought that the transporter trap at Chiari's was suspicious from the moment I found it. I guessed that there was someone pulling the wires from behind the scenes. At first I thought Yashie or maybe Okina was that someone. And you would think it's her, wouldn't you? But no, it was you, Zanmu. What are you scheming? Conquer the surface? Hmm. <laughs> Nowadays I want nothing from the surface, unlike you starving beasts. It is the future that I want. I've manipulated everything to create that future. You have no choice but to live in the palm of my hand. Understand, you wretched beast? Wow! Alright, I can 2 HP this, surely. I can do it. Mrs. Puff! I can do this! We're getting close to pretty far up there in time. But it's alright. I don't have to leave at 9, it seems. Gotta wait and see, though. No Stafido shafting this time, surely. Well, that said, chat, Total 19 is taking the week, so, like, God, I have so much backlog now. I'm not playing Armor Core or Blasphemous, which, by the way, Blasphemous 2 came out today, and Armor Core comes out tomorrow, so that is hella unfortunate for Blasphemous. But, uh, yeah, Armor Core comes out tomorrow, and I'm not gonna play it. But be prepared because that's going to be one of the only things you see on Twitch for the next couple uh, days. New game time, man. New game time. You got to beat it before you go back to school. Ow. Ow. Give me that back. That Texas Chainsaw Massacre game released properly like a week ago, but <clears throat> I have a feeling most of the big streamers who play it are going to be playing Armor Core and or Blasphemous, so it might uh, it might kind of fade away. It seems it's like a fun game, but. It is $50. Canadian, mind you. 
It's expensive, though. It's very expensive. <clears throat> so I'm not, I'm not buying that. I would definitely be willing to buy it if it goes on sale for like 80% off or something like that. But I am not spending $50 on that game. There is no shot. Too much money. Game also just needs more content. There's five killers, five survivors, and three maps. But there's different times for the maps, but it's still only three maps. So, it's pretty bare bones for a $50 game. But again, I wouldn't say it's bad. Sixty euros. Oh Jesus Christ! Why is it so expensive over there? Like I'm pretty sure it's forty USD because it's fifty-one Canadian. Dead by Daylight is like twenty-five bucks, I think, at max price. And that game has so much content packed into it. Like, hell, Leatherface himself is in that game. <laughs> like, you, Leatherface is already in that game. So you can play as him there. Oh. Okay. Yuma's bomb is actually just a bomb. Good. There you go. Favorable matriarch of the Goyuku Alliance. What are you doing over there? Come here. There you go. Just Yuma standing. That's all. Yuma sitting. Remove. The image got so big it lagged. Dog EX Interesting Okay Alright Someone's still unaccounted for But now you can play as these three Okay Alright chat That's a good place to stop And I will finish the game Next time Oh Mexon wheels. What? The? What are you talking about? No, it is Sika, because Sika's. There's only three characters left in the game. It's uh, 
It's uh, Himimi and Zimizi, and then Sika. So, all the spots are accounted for. I just, Sika didn't show up once today. So, I kind of forgot she was in the game. Weird spot sticker, but at the same time, not. Because the other, it's better the group, the new one's all at the bottom anyway. Anyway, chat. Three hours. Tall 19. Good out of 10. I'm still enjoying the gameplay loop. Uh, I'm glad the music is, you know, I fixed the music issue. But the gameplay loop can get a little stale, but I am forcibly playing it. I'm on, I'm on normal for the story anyway, so that's probably why it's... It can feel a little repetitive. But I'm enjoying the conversations a lot. And there was a... There was that big lore moment about, uh, about Z Zimmy. Zimmy Jimmy, whose name I will just never remember. No matter... No matter how many times it's told, I don't remember her goddamn name. Oh, uh, her, her and the grape lady, dude. Yomotsu something. I remember that. Her name is Yomotsu something. And the other one, her name is um, Zim, 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 Invader Zim. Anyway, chat. I'll finish, I'll probably finish 19 properly next time. Uh... Oh, it could be tomorrow. Uh, it could be uh, maybe not tomorrow. Maybe on Saturday. I'm not really sure. I'd probably go in overtime if I did it on Saturday. We'll see. Maybe. 